welcome to Wanda's Work Basket. Hello Divas! Hope you can join me today for another, it's a variety of unwrappings. Um, there's several of them that came, I've never used some of these com companies before, but uh, some of them that came in unique, unique ways when I just ordered one from a company. This one comes from the Diamond Painting Factory. And you know what? It, with the other ones, I should have looked for the artist on them and not just bought the cheap ones from overseas because they're cheap. They sometimes are trouble with drills. This is going to be a little fox. Can you see the little foxy there? Cutie. Let's see how cute this is. Diamond Painting Factory 40 by 50. Um, Rhonda Nault, I guess she is the, the artist. Okay, let's unroll the drills first. <laughs> like my sophisticated way of doing that. Rolling it out. All right. It is 40, oh, it's cute. Look how cute it is. Oh my goodness. 27 colors. I wish they would put white on the dark things, on the dark symbols. But again, no training wheels. Um, is this square or round? <gasps> square! Yay! <laughs> I like square. I just can't tell. Um, this has the boat, the tweezers, the squishy, and the wax, and the pen. And it has a large multi placer on it, probably because. There's all this on the outside. When I do these, sometimes I like to do all the outside first and then start on the beautiful creature in the middle. And a little more crinkling. Okay, let's look at some of these boxy colors. Okay, greens and reds. And browns, grays, blues. More blues. These are coming on these little packages, and they they don't have. This says 518. That is the number, um, the DMC color number, on it. Ooh. Pinks and oranges and reds. More beautiful colors. The teal. Look at that red. Purple or red. Love it, love it, love it. I want a nail polish color that Maybe I'll have to take a bag of drills with me to the drugstore. Or a beauty supply store to get that. An orange. Okay. <laughs> and by far. Well, it's not stark white, thank goodness. It is two ninety seven, I think. Uh, no, it's not two ninety seven. What does it say? Seven sixty two, maybe. Yep, seven sixty two. It's a gray white around the outside. Oh gee, like holding it weird. Okay, so that is my foxy lady from the Diamond Painting Factory. And I love that this has the artist's name on it too. That is so important to me as um, an artist sort, sort of. <laughs> it's not my career. Art is not my career. It's my love. I don't draw. I just, you know, I'm creative with things. So where was I rambling off to? You'll note that you know wandering is part of my part of my name, and you know what wanders the most? My brain. So please bear with me. <laughs> Thank you, Rhonda Nault, for this gorgeous painting. 
from the Diamond Painting Factory. I'll put this back in his bag. I like that. I like this way to open it because otherwise, you know, see, it's open the long way rather than the short way. You easy to get this back together. I like that. Thank you, Diamond Painting Factory. I really like that. I'm going to use you again, if, maybe. <laughs> if I ever get through some of this. You haven't even seen my stash yet. Girl. Diva to Diva. I'm telling you. All right. Now I have another one from... In their shipping department from New Jersey. Okay, I don't know what this one is. I'm not expecting. I'm really not expecting anymore. It says it's a 40 by 60. It's a double sided adhesive. Oh boy. <laughs> you see, I'm having a hard problem. Oh boy. This is a forest with a waterfall. I don't know if you can see that. Can't really see it. So let's peel up a corner. Oh my heavens. Look at that confetti field. Holy cow. And training wheels. That's all right. Hopefully, people won't be looking that close. These things are better distance anyway, aren't they? Okay, 28 colors. Oh, gee. Some of the browns are going to be really hard to tell apart. How can you even tell what letter it, or number or symbol it is on top of that dark color? Dark browns. Oh. A typical kit and a large multi-placer. See them fall all over the place again. See them fall. Blues, greens, grays, reds. Look, I probably, it's probably a fall. I'm in the Bushkill Falls in Pennsylvania. And they're beautiful. The falls is, is really beautiful. Let me give you the purple. Oh my gosh. And when you go, you can you take this path down the side of this, you know, ravine, this little valley. And you get to see the falls from a different angle. There are hiking trails there and everything. Um, <clears throat> a little gift shop. It used to be uh, a great place to go. It looked it. It had all kinds of... Um, all kinds of like activities that used to be there. But it's the falls that you go for. And um, I don't need to go digging for some false gold and you know. <clears throat> and a playground. They have some nice Native American things in there too. Bush Kill Falls. That's what these things remind me of. And they have a deep, um, deep valley in them. Gonna be pretty. Very pretty. How do I do a very large diamond painting? You ever hear the story about the elephant? How do you eat an elephant? You know? One bite at a time. And that's how I do the large canvases. One section at a time. Ray. And that brings me to an idea. We do a lot of things that, you know, at first you look at a project at work or at home or, or whatever, and you think, that's too much. I'll never get it done. But when you sit and think about it, what's one step? One step that you can take in that direction. Uh, I am looking forward to doing something new in the coming months. And 
it's overwhelming sometimes. So I go and write a list. I write it all out. I write it all out in a bullet journal or something else. And I get it all down on paper. And once I do, I look at it and feel overwhelmed, just like you would. And I'm trying to pick up the little pieces of plastic on the side here. Oop, mind wandering. Come back. Train of thought derailed. Sorry. Stuck. Taking one little bite at a time. What's the one next step you can do tomorrow towards your goal? One step more towards your goal. Eventually, those steps will compound and you'll find yourself at a whole new place you didn't think you could do. That's my encouragement for today. Okay, I have a couple more here. They're just one-offs. Like I don't have enough already, right? Oops, my address. Maybe I can blur that out in production. What is in here? Something, something, something. Oh, <laughs> another cardinal bookmark with tassel and gems. Maybe I can sell the kit on my Etsy store. Yes, Wanda's Work Basket on Etsy. Right now I have scrapbooking kits. Um, I'm de-stashing, and I have boxes of um, boxes of scrapbooking stuff. We'll get to that too sometime. All right, this is another one. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. Come on now. This could be another one from one of those companies. Um, all right, <clears throat> I'll show you down here. The field, more training wheels, a lot of confetti. Oh, yeah, we have the list up here, 27 colors as usual. And again, there's a one, two, three, four dark browns here that don't have like a, a white, that don't have a white litter on top of them. How am I going to see that? With the bigger companies, you don't get that problem. They know to do them right. <clears throat> Regular kit. Ooh, I have more yellows in this one. I'll show you the supposed to be. It's flower tree. It's a flower tree. <coughs> I think it's gorgeous. I love yellow. It's one of my favorite colors. Yellow brightens my mood really quickly. It's funny because when I was a girl, my mom asked me what color I wanted my bedroom repainted. And I said, bright yellow. Well, it was painted bright yellow, and Mom would be looking for me in the house, and she'd look up the steps to see me, and she'd go, turn your light out. I said, Mom, it's not on. It's the sun coming in the window and bouncing off all the yellow paint, and it, it always looked like I had my light on. Yeah. Light's on, but nobody's home sometimes. All right. Um, okay. These give the DMC number, they give the number on the chart, and it's weighed, apparently, by weight. Maybe there's a brown one up here I'm going to have problems with. Yikes, jinkies. Okay. I'm very happy that there's a lot of yellow. Tans. Red. Another red. Browns, as usual. You know, it's going to be easy to make a mistake in this one because it's such a um, diverse painting. The colors are beautiful. Um, I think so, anyway. It's going to be difficult to do because of the... Um, 
the symbols are not on there correctly or, you know, not easily di discernible. What do you do when you make a mistake? When you find that you get to the end of painting and you don't have enough of one color and you decide, uh-oh, I use that color over here for this instead. What do you do? Um, put in the comments, like and subscribe, and then add to the comments that um, what you do when you mess up. <laughs> do you take them all off? Do you pick them all off with the tweezers? and get the right ones back? Or do you just leave it the way it is? For me, sometimes it depends. Sometimes it depends on how much I have to do. Um, and that's what, that's what uh, my extra drills are for. If I can't find a perfect match, I can at least find something close to what it was supposed to be. Sometimes if I have only one that I've missed in the confetti, I stick a neighboring, neighboring color with it. <laughs> Nobody will know. It's not like anybody's counting your diamonds. It's not that I want to be... It's not that I want to make mistakes, but you know what? We're human. We make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> your inspirational thought for the day. Yes, we make mistakes. But we're human. The more important part is what you do after you make a mistake. Do you go on? Do you correct your mistake? Do you say you're sorry? Or do you try to ignore it because you don't want the attention, the negative attention that it might bring? I don't know. It's a hard decision sometimes. <laughs>